When 15th century explorers entered these jungles for the first time, they came face to face with a curious little monkey. With their colored cap of hair, they were thought to resemble capuchin monks in their robes and hoods. So they were named capuchin monkeys. As the dry season comes to an end, most capuchin babies are born in the Amazon jungle. This troop consists of a dozen related females, their brand new offspring, some young males, and the alpha, enjoying the perks of his status. By April, juicy mangoes, figs, and fruit have all withered away. Reluctantly, the troop is forced to move to the forest floor for foraging sessions. They hope to find morsels of seeds and insects, but it's risky. Predators are lurking. Once the sentinel raises the alarm, the troops scurry to safety. It takes a lot to outsmart a capuchin. They are considered the most intelligent of the New World monkeys. Soon they've discovered a safer source of food a late blooming fruit tree. But even here in the canopy, they can't drop their guard. A neighboring troop moves in, looking to expand their territory in these lean times. But there's not enough food for everyone. They'll have to evict the residents. The rivals will kill any offspring they can, so the lives of the newborns are on the line. The troop's only defense now is in unity. With the Alpha leading the charge, the females back him up. Driving away the assailants, the resident troop have held their ground. Females will attend to the wounded Alpha, and the troop settle nerves with some grooming. With the rains approaching, the Capuchin troop have made it through the hardest part of the year together.